Just wanted to let you guys know real quick before we jump into this next video, uh, we will be doing our first giveaway coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, I'm gonna try to do something when we hit a thousand subscribers, when we hit that milestone, uh, just to keep continuing to grow the channel and to say thank you to you guys. We're not sure what we're gonna give away just yet. We're not sure if we're gonna do some kind of a tool or um, maybe even some custom uh, sign work like we've done in some of our other videos, if you wanna check those out. Um, actually, if you guys wouldn't mind giving us your opinion in the comments, would be great. Um, just kinda help us brainstorm as well. So uh, we will be giving those away to uh, a subscriber. So. Uh, you might just keep your eyes peeled for that video coming up here shortly. And uh, anyway, we'll roll into this next video so we can get going with that. Thanks. Hey guys, finally getting around to doing a video to answer a couple questions on our deck, uh, cable deck railing video that I did a couple years ago, probably a couple years ago now. I'm gonna do an update on the railing, kind of show you what it looks like now and a couple things I would have changed. And I'm gonna answer two questions in this video that I've been asked a lot in the comments on that video. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll post a link to it here, somewhere on this on the, on the video here. Uh, the main question I had though was how was I doing the on the corner post, if you watched the video a couple minutes in, in the corner post I had my uh, cable going in one side and out the other, so I didn't have to have actual uh, fasteners on each side. And a few people thought I just did a 90 degree uh, corner in there, but I did not. I just did a 45 degree angle through the post. And that was just basically drilling a hole from here to here. And to make sure I had that 45 degree angle, the easiest thing to do and the way I did it was just to take a speed square. Uh, they get these at the hardware store, they're cheap. If you don't have one, get one, they're very handy to have. And all I did was hold, uh, found the center of my post and I made a mark and then I just drilled at a 45 degree angle through the post. So to do that, easiest way that I found to do it is to get you a long paddle bit and I used a quarter inch on mine. This is a 516, so I used a quarter inch because I sleeved in my holes with some quarter inch copper that I had laying around just to try to keep it from wallowing out the hole over time. But basically you just hold your, your 45 degree angle on your hole and you line your bit up like so with the, with the speed square. Let me see if I can get a little better angle on this real quick. So I find the center of my post, put my drill like so, and then you just kind of use the speed square as a guide. You're not actually gonna hold your bit against it because you'll run out of room before you hit it, but just kind of use your the speed square as a guide. And I'll kind of show you here, I'll start. Just gonna kind of eyeball the center of this post. Kind of get, get me a hole started just a little bit so my bit doesn't walk. And then I'm just gonna use my speed square like so. So you can see that kind of splintered out a little bit. Kind of break some of the splinters off and then I just basically fed my cable through that way. Uh, you know, like I said, I did use some copper to, to sleeve the hole. So that gives you the, the illusion of a 90 degree corner going through and that is how I did that. So nothing special there. If you wanted to be a little more accurate, they do make uh, some drill guides you can buy. This is one I have, I've used a couple times to keep it in the package so I don't lose the pieces, but you can see it uh, lets you set your drill and actually uh, turn angles, certain angles, kind of like a mobile drill press basically that lets you turn angles also. So that also works. Okay, and another question I had was how I did uh, the bolt, um, how I drilled the hole in it. I had that a few times, that question in the comments. Um, it's pretty simple. Um, I just kind of hammered the threads flat so I could have a flat surface to uh, drill through just so the drill bit wasn't trying to walk off at the bolt the whole time. I will say, however, I did not use a nut to back up to hold the cable on because I made the hole so small that the cable was tight in it and the friction kind of holds it. And it still has to this day. I haven't had any trouble with that. I was thinking though after I made the video because it was kind of quick and we have a ground level deck, I'd probably say just to be safe and it, it doesn't take any extra time at all just go ahead and put a nut on it i had the cable ran through and then loop back i would just go ahead and put a nut on here first and then drill, drill your hole and then tighten this once you loop the cable through i would tighten this nut uh, down onto the cable and then you might even do two nuts just so you can have one to lock this nut in place just to just to be safe uh you know if i had an elevated deck i probably would do that but like i said since ours is ground level there's really no 
It's more for decoration for us more than anything, but just, just to be safer, I would just do that. So I'll kind of show you what I mean when I'm, when I'm talking about that. When I used uh, ours, when I did the elevator bolts, I hammered them flat with a hammer to make this flat. I'm gonna use a grinder or a Dremel tool. I think that would be better. It doesn't warp the bolt and it will also uh, keep the threads from getting so torn up so that, that the nut will thread on and off easier. And I'm just gonna lightly tighten that down so I don't damage the threads, just to hold it while I use my Dremel tool. Okay, you can see I got a nice flat area there, and I have a little bit of threads left over to be able to start my bolt, or I'm sorry, to start my nut. And we'll go ahead and drill some holes in there. I'm gonna go ahead and use the, the nut to make sure I don't have to tighten down too hard on these threads. So I'm gonna start with a smaller bit to do my pilot. That bit is dull. Okay, so I got my hole, you can see through both sides. And what I would do if I were doing it again, so I'd take my cable through the hole like I did in the original video. And then I know in the video, I just bent it around like so. It is very difficult to pull out this way still, but I would just go ahead and tighten the nut down on it. And obviously you use another pair of pliers or a wrench so you can get it nice and tight. And then you could honestly even probably do another nut here to sandwich it. Or I think if you got this one plenty tight with a backup nut that you could lock it in place with, it would be just fine. This would be very difficult to pull out if I was gonna try to pull it out now with even just kind of hand tight here. So that's what I would do differently. So for the update on the cable railing, you can see uh, it's, it's rained a lot here. If you can't tell, everything's really wet still in the grass scenes mode, but uh, everything looks great on it still. I'm very happy with it. The only thing I would change, like I said before, the cable itself is rusted, um, the galvanized cable. So I'll be replacing that with stainless steel just to get rid of that. But everything else still um, still looks just like, almost like it did when I did it. The, the elevator bolts still look nice. They're not rusted or anything like that. Uh, the cable's still nice and tight. The turnbuckles themselves still work great. Uh, no rust on them either, but the cable themselves, you can tell coming off, are rusted. Uh, it's definitely worse here where the bushes have kind of shaded it and kept it moist. Um, other than that, I haven't had any problems with it. Um, I would do it again. The only other thing I might say I would do, like I said earlier in the video, uh, would be just to put the nuts on the elevator bolts just to be safe. But like I said, this is only about a foot drop. I don't even know if it's quite a foot. It's probably a foot. So um, not, not too much risk for someone getting hurt falling off. But if it was elevated, I'd for sure definitely be doing that probably. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I'll probably try to do another update in a couple of years on it if it's still holding up just fine um, with the stainless steel cables. And uh, again, uh, thanks for stopping by and please like and subscribe if you wouldn't mind.